Convenience store owners in the city of Minneapolis have a year to rid their shelves of any flavored tobacco products. The city council voted to pass an ordinance today that bans menthol, mint, and wintergreen flavors from convenience stores beginning August of 2018. Other flavored tobacco was already banned back in 2015. The products will still be available at tobacco shops and some liquor stores. As Nina Morney explains, the debate came down to public health concerns over the concerns of some business owners. This is a win for the people of Minneapolis. This is, this is huge. In her work at North Point Health and Wellness Center in North Minneapolis, Latricia Vita sees firsthand how smoking kills. You hear people a lot of times um, only talk about crime in North Minneapolis as a part of the death, but there are people dying from a lot of other things in North Minneapolis, like heart disease and cancer and those things that are related to tobacco. Vita says flavored tobacco is still targeted toward youth, a major reason the Minneapolis City Council voted 10 to 2 to make menthol less accessible. The greater restriction means flavored tobacco, which is currently available in 318 stores across the city, will only be available in 47 shops that are strictly tobacco shops or liquor stores. It's going to create a huge economic devastation uh, for the corner stores. Convenience store owner Ahmad Al Hawari says 70% of his tobacco sales at Penwood in North Minneapolis come from menthol products. Uh, we all against smoking. Smoking is bad, but it's a it's a it's a choice. Uh, it's illegal products. Uh, they are adults uh, and they could buy it. I think that we protect kids from it, right? As adults, we are mindful that our children shouldn't be exposed to everything that we are. And so this is one step in making that happen. Nina Moini, WCCO 4 News. The two votes against the restriction came from council members who represent the city's north side. The city says some resources and guidance will be available to business owners who are worried about how the regulations will impact their ability to stay open.